up, Gemini? And this is West Coast Tarot with your January love reading. This is a general reading and may not resonate with everyone. This is for my lovely Gemini's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate with you, please know it was meant for someone else who needs more guidance and clarity. But I always put a little description of what the video entails in the video title. But if you like my style and vibe with me, please like my channel, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you are interested in a personal reading, the information to book one is down below. Also, I do list um, all the decks I use. I always list it in my description as well. Cross watchers are welcome. Roles can be reversed and time is fluid. Take what does resonate and leave what does not um, also, let's go ahead and begin and let's take a look at where you're at in love, Gemini, for January. So we have Wisdom, which is my Hierophant card. Some of you guys might be dealing with a Taurus or dealing with a commitment, a committed relationship. Um, could be marriage. Some of you might be seeking guidance in regards to this commitment, um, it, this could involve a home life or someone around you who you thought was loyal, okay? Um, a lot of you guys with the throat chakra here, you really need to speak up. Say what's on your mind and communicate. And I know generally Gemini have no problem doing that, but um, some of you might ha be having a difficult time communicating like your inner feelings or your inner thoughts. So don't back down from speaking up, okay, for this month. Patience. We really need to be patient and remember that things take time. Um, you know, we have to watch things grow after we plant seeds. So just really try to be patient and remember things cannot be rushed. Things have to unravel on the universe's time and not our timeline. And prosperity begins. So some of you might be focusing on mending a relationship, but others of you might be focusing more on material wealth and gain, business, um, planting roots and other ventures that you can see to, fru to fruition, things that will be more beneficial to you later on down in life. It could be mending a relationship as well. So let's go ahead and see where you're at right now. Um, so we have fire, earth, and air energy, but some of you guys might be getting some news coming in, quick news coming in. Um, some of you might be making a decision, a rather quick decision or, um, in, in regards to an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Some of you guys might be some of you guys might be getting information coming in rather quickly about this earth sign that they have a lot of other options. Others of you might be making a decision about an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone that has it in their chart, or someone who embodies this stability, this practicality, someone who is just down to earth, good person. Um, you guys might be getting, if you're not making a decision, some of you guys might be getting news that this person has a lot of options, or making a decision about this person. But with the Seven of Cups here as well, I feel like this could be someone that you dream about as well, is what I'm feeling. Someone who has a lot of options or temptation around them. But it looks like some news will be coming in about them, or you guys will be making a decision about them. Um, or you guys could be traveling to see them as well. So let's take a look at what's going on. Looks like you guys have a decision to make. Yep, we got the two of swords here. So you guys have a decision to make, but you're kind of stuck on making the decision because so much is unknown. But you guys, you have free will. <laughs> so looks like some of you guys are wanting to, having a decision to maybe leave a home life, but you're worried about having to defend yourself from leaving this home life or what others will say. Others will come after you for this. Or some of you are making a decision to start a happy home life, start a family with someone, and you're afraid 
that you'll have to defend yourself against this decision. So I feel like the the holdup in this decision making is what others will think of you or having to defend yourself against people around you. It could be family members, um, friends, people that will judge you. But this decision involves a home life, ending a home life or starting a home life, a happy home life. And if it's not your home life, it involves your happiness, like you being fulfilled. So if it's not, it's this decision involves happiness and you don't know whether to take that step because you're afraid of the repercussions. I have all energy on the board too, by the way. All elements are on the board. So you guys have someone in your energy. It's It could be Aries or Strong Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is someone who likes to be single. <laughs> I don't, with this page of pentacles here, this is someone who um, is not really committable. A page of pentacle in reverse is someone who's lacking commitment. Um, someone who doesn't want to put work into in a situation. But I feel like they, aside from that, they are a good worker. They have the emperor here. This is someone who embodies great attributes from all of the kings. This is someone who is an authority figure, could be older than you, could be a father, someone who has control in a situation, control um, over most situations that you guys endure. But this person that you're dealing with, I feel like they don't want a commitment and they prefer to be alone, um, working on themselves. This is someone who they could play with your emotions or make you think that they desire you, but then no, 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 we're not together. I feel like they play that game with you a lot. Could be a Capricorn energy too, I felt. In other readings I've been doing, I feel like Gemini and Capricorn have been really linked together in a lot of readings that I've been um, doing. So I feel like that could be it as well. But this is someone who maybe has control in the situation, control over you. They're not committal and they prefer to be single. Externally to you, we have the Nine of Swords. So someone is feeling hopeless about a situation or anxious about a situation. Um, externally to the relationship, someone might be feeling like it's hopeless. It won't work out. It's causing a lot of like suffering and pain. I'm going to clarify that. Spirit, please clarify Nine of Swords. Please clarify Nine of Swords. Why is Nine of Swords here? Nine of Swords and Two of Cups reverse. So feeling hopeless about a relationship. Lack of communication. Lost trust. Someone's lost trust in this union. Yep. Star card in reverse. So hopeless. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Some of you are insecure. There's insecurity. And some people are just lacking faith. So that's causing some stress in this union. Obstacles. We have temperance. This is Sagittarius energy. Obstacle is someone gathering or balancing their emotions. Um, lacking patience. It could be. It could be you, Gemini, that you don't have patience in the situation. You're tired of, of waiting. Um, you kind of feel like, what's the point? And you're really growing impatient trying to balance your emotions. You're tired of waiting for this to come through. And this is your energy, Gemini. So yeah, this is you. You're the one that's growing impatient. And wondering when this will work out. Because I feel like you feel this person is 
one of your soulmates or you do have a strong connection with this person, but this person's too busy in their lifestyle right now. Like they don't want to commit at this point, but you see so much potential in them, but they don't want to commit right now. And that's what the holdup is. How they view you, Gemini, we have five of swords in reverse and three of swords upright. So they do know that you want, like you desire to reconcile. You want to get back with them. You want to make things right. Like you don't want any resentment here. You just want, you want to make things right and you, you want to get back with them because you miss them. You view them as your, your love, you know, um, but they also know that you're hurt and I am going to clarify this. I feel like they also know that you're having a lot of pain at this time and you're heartbroken. You're heartbroken, but yet you still desire and you still miss them. Um, Spirit, please clarify three of swords for my lovely Geminis. Please clarify three of swords. I feel like this person's hurting you because they are they don't want to change their lifestyle. And you're realizing that. And we have Queen of So, hmm. Queen of Swords reversed. You're heartbroken because they, you felt that this is cruel. You feel like they're being cruel. They're just not being nice right now. It's not what you wanted. It's not what you hoped for. It's not what you wanted out of this. My tummy is growling. I hope you don't hear that. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I got to go eat. Okay, so outcome we have Knight of Swords reversed, Six of Cups Reverse in Eight of Pentacles. Wow. For outcome, Spirit's leaving a lot in the air right now because Knight of Swords in Reverse is telling me that there's some things maybe we shouldn't know. There might not be any direction taking. There's a lot of unknown and unpredictableness going on right here. I'm going to clarify that. I feel like right now, there's so much unknown. There's so much uncertainty. And with the Six of Cups in reverse here, some of you guys might be, if you're in a home life, you might be leaving the home life. You might be, someone might be leaving the home. Someone might want more independence and someone might be moving on, okay? I'm gonna clarify all of these and others of you might try to work on this or work on yourself or your pentacles. Let's clarify Knight of Swords first. Let's see. Spirit, please clarify Knight of Swords. In reverse. Please clarify Knight of Swords in reverse. I feel like one of you wants to fix this, but there's just so much unknown. The other person's like... Because of the conflict... Yeah, Seven of Wands here. Um... There might be too much conflict right now for January, Geminis. I'm feeling there might be too much conflict for direction to take place. And you're just going to have to defend yourself. Knight of Swords can also, in reverse, can mean defending your beliefs. And that's what you're doing. You're having to defend yourself right now. Defending yourself here. Not making a decision because you're having to defend yourself. Defending who you are, defending your situation when people don't know the, all the facts, but they want to be in your business. Spirit, please clarify Six of Cups in reverse, please. Please clarify Six of Cups in reverse. I'm so hungry. Please clarify Six of Cups, please. The hangman in reverse and five of cups. So yeah, someone might be walking away from the situation. 
releasing this. Some of you guys are really just going to be releasing the situation. Making a decision on this person. Making a decision to release this person and working on yourself. So let's pull some romance angels. Angels, what can we say? What guidance and clarity can we offer our lovely Geminis? You know, if something feels right in your heart and you know it's a right decision, Geminis, don't worry about what people say. This is your life, not your life. If someone's not treating you right and you're just in this relationship because you're trying to keep up a facade or a fake illusion that you have a happy home life when it's really not and this person is like stepping out on you, not wanting to commit to you, you know, you need to make the best decision that serves you and serves your life for the better purpose of your life. Don't worry about what anyone else says. Angels, what advice do we have for my lovely Geminis for the month of January in regards to this love situation? Messages for Gemini, please. Soulmate. Yes, this is one of your, this is your soulmate. So yeah, I feel like that's why there's such a strong tie there. And that's why it's so hard for you to make a decision. But please know that soulmate is used very loosely. You know, not everyone that is a soulmate is intended for you to be with. Soulmates come into our life to teach us a lesson, to help us elevate on our soul journey. But I feel like it's so hard because there is a lot of attraction there. And I feel like this person is very attractive that you're dealing with, I must say, with the Emperor card here and the Nine of Pentacles card here. This is someone who, you know, you're really attracted to. They take care of themselves. Their finances look good. Some of their finances. Um, you just have a strong, such a strong attachment to them. What other messages do we have for Gemini? But some of you are releasing this. Moving on. It's going to be a hard decision too. But religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Yes, because a lot of you guys are so worried about what your family and friends are going to say. And that's why you guys are having a hard time making a decision because of your upbringing. I don't, it's not necessarily religion. It could be your morals, your faith, um, things you were taught by your parents, your culture. It could be any of those. Whisper Angels, what messages do we have for my lovely Geminis in regards to the situation? Oh, lots of messages. Okay, love team, let's try this again. Messages for Gemini, please. Messages for Gemini, please. This situation is going to take a lot of patience, too. So it might take time. says, demonstrate love. Find out what it is important to the people you love and act on it. So for those of you who have kids, I feel like you really need to focus on your children more so this month. Um, if you do really desire this person and you really want this person, I feel like it's time for you to express it. Um, with the throat chakra here, you guys need to speak up. And really communicate what's on your mind. What other messages we have for Gemini? Oop. But 
but honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. So really just be honest with yourself and what you want. I feel like you guys are just trying to wear a false mask and maybe please others around you. Um, but you have to be honest with yourself and what you want in this life because this is your life. Manifest what you want and then you'll have happiness, okay? Gemini's, I wish you the best for January in regards to your love life. Um, love and light to you and I will catch you on your next video. Thank you.